we'll be doing something a little bit different today. Uh, job on the van. We've got a little bit of a problem, an intermittent fault on the door lock, I believe. Uh, what's happening? When I'm driving, it goes into the oh, automatic door lock mode. I'll have to put the engine on to, to show you this. So when you pull away, that symbol there on the dash, and that's flashing on the camera there, not to worry, it shouldn't be flashing, but seeing the doors are open, just turn this radio off, that should go out as it has done there, but when the door opens it comes back on, now when I'm driving away, that's coming on and seeing that door's open and it's not open, initially I thought it was possibly a wiring fault, because you can see that's all sort of twisted and things so I thought there was a problem there but it actually looks like there's a problem with this door latch because the latest thing I found out was if you lock it like so all locked give that a push that door opens so that's not really very good security wise so what I'm going to do is pull the door card off and see if there's a part number on the lock so you can't get another one ordered. Right, first thing, clear all this junk out of the door card. See these, the Brian Adams or sure Westlife, I don't think that's mine, that must be uh, somebody else's left in there. I'll not go through them all. So I believe we've got to take that switch out. I had a quick look at the Haynes manual, take that switch out. Take these covers off, the door handle trim, I think it all comes off. I think what I'll do is I'll put this on a speed up. Because uh, I think it might take me some time to take this off, it might get a bit boring. So I've got that switch out for the window controls, that panel off of there, and the surround off this pull handle, and then so I don't clip that off of this handle. And there's two 10 mil bolts made, well, there'll be six mil, but the 10 mil socket fit the head. Uh, bolts removed from there, unclip this all the way around. I'll this thing is a handy tool, I got that from some sort of car fair or something. It's good for getting the clips out, getting panels off and things. Sometimes if the clips are left inside and you try and leave them off the screwdriver, they just snap, absolute rubbish. But these seem to get them out really well. Good investment, that. So, take these two bolts out and hopefully this door card will lift off. Figured out how this unclips, bit of the odd one. So you press that little tab down there, see if I can do it with my thumb. And then that lever pulls back, lifts the plug out. 
simple one in a while. Right, let's see what's under here. That to me looks like that's been off before. Right, so we've got this stage now. I think what I'm going to do, we've got a couple of torques, bolts here. It looks like that should release the latch, but it's only the handle mechanism onto it as well. Not sure how that will come off. Ideally, I'm just looking to try and get a part number off it because I imagine that this will be to order in anyway, so it's not as if I'll be able to just pop out and get one. So it's probably going to have to go back together as it is for the time being. So I'll make sure this video doesn't go out until it's repaired. Also, my park is van up, people might be helping themselves opening that door. Looks like I'm not going to get this out without taking all the handle and everything off. Right, I think I can just about make out there. Yeah, there's a part number on there, so I'm going to note that down before I go any further. Nine, six, six, eight, one, three, one, five, seven. Three, five, seven, eight, zero. Right, I think next step is to make a few calls and see if anyone's got one. If it goes in, assuming that the plug and everything's okay, I think I'll double check the wiring, but I'm pretty confident it's this latch. It'll be some sort of micro switch inside, I imagine, which senses when it's locked. You have that type of thing on the Land Rover Freelanders, the common. Deal yet, so that's what it'll probably be. I'll just show you this tool. So, the likes of these clips here, which are normally awkward to get out, you can just get that under like that. Oh, <laughs> it snapped that one, that wasn't very good, but uh, I'll try on another one. I need one of those clips as well. And snap that one. Well, that's a good tool after all. I'm gonna chuck that in the bin. Not to worry. I've just been on the front there, fig it there, and gonna give him the part number and that. And it's not something that they keep in stock, unfortunately. A couple of days and 100 and about 130 quid plus the VAT, unfortunately. But it's got to be, isn't it? You know, security, it's not worth risking getting a second hand one. Anyway, I'll uh. Put this door card back on for now, I'll just have to live with it for a couple of days and then I'll give them a ring, get that ordered and then I'll build it all back up. Right, I'll just show you this clip removal tool. Hopefully it will work on this one. I'll take my time a bit more. I think I brushed it last time. A little bit of pressure there. And that's how it should do it. Hopefully I've managed to get the half a dozen of those from Fiat, so I'll be picking those up when I get the lock. Right, it's now Monday, I'm back, I think it was Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday last week when I started taking the band of bits. I'm just back from the Figgit dealer over at Darlington there, got the lock, that's what 135 quid gets you nowadays. A few more of these kits, snapped a few with that tool that I highly recommend that didn't seem to work as good as normal. I've got the clips for the door card and the latch, so I'm just going to crack on now and Try and get it all put back together. Hopefully it'll go together okay. So I'll video that, probably speed up sections of it. Because it's probably going to be an hour's job or so, I guess. But we'll see how it goes. The stage I'm at now is about my more or less where I was at before when I found the part number and things off the latch. The uh, only difference is I folded that back out the way. So now I'm just going to try and figure out how to get all this out behind here. This grommet here, there's a hex sort of stud or group screw. I think that will release the handle, hopefully. Because the cable goes up from the latch up to the handle. So we'll see how that comes apart. We'll start stripping this out. I think I'll speed this section up. Like I say, this is going to be fast and I'll go back. If there's any point, there's anything that I find might be useful, 
I'll recap over that at the end. Sometimes this uh, trusty manual comes in handy. So, to remove the handle, you back that stood off, and then hopefully, catch a lock button. It should come out. Yep, there it is. That's it out. The handle released. It's the first part done. <laughs> Job. Probably the most awkward bit was getting the door handle off. Undo the stud that was there, which would then take that push button lock out. Then the handle slid forward. I'll show you just this plastic. Just that plastic bit that sort of slid. Actually, I think it slid. It was in like that, it slid back, and then that all came out. Then there was one screw just there. Had to take that out, which then released all this door handle out, which is now there, just inside there. Now I think the problem would be getting that out, so I'm just going to leave that in position. And I've got to try and remember which way the cable fed around, so it doesn't get tangled around here. So at least that's that one out. And there it is, just got to disconnect it from that pull handle, and then we'll start putting the new one back in. We had a bit of a meal out there. Let's put the knack back together. There, up there. I don't know if you can see the natural handle. I can't really see, but it's up there. It was sort of jammed behind this part of the window. I couldn't get that into position because I put one of these screws in. I can't remember which one. One of those temporarily to support the latch in place. And I just didn't have enough movement to actually get the handle up there. So the trick is to keep all that loose and fit the handle first. Put it all all in that seems to be working now i'm just going to put a bit of grease on there pull that one's on that seems to be working put a bit of grease on door card and everything back on and try it see what see if it works right i've just tried closing it check it all work before i put all this back together i don't want to smash all my clips i'm going to put all this back together and find it i need to take this off so i'm just going to put a little bit of rear grease in there like that Probably fine. Maybe we can do it sticking back on the there somehow, but I don't think I'll bother to be honest. Just get the door card back on. Nice new clips on the inside, just smashed before. The longer one up in there, the shorter one in there.
I'm just going to check that on the passenger side. them so I've left them in the workshop right we're all back together so we'll just test it check that it works that is locked it's not open there if you remember before when you pressed on that oh there's the other one when you pressed on that before it would pop it all open so hopefully it's all sorted I'll take it for a test drive just check that the auto locking and everything works I hope it's been useful to someone in this video if you enjoyed watching as always, please like and subscribe.